Uh, all right. Let's, let's, oh, um, let's go to the party. Let's go to the party. All right. The demon wants me to go get the key. We'll get the key just to have the key. Right, and I'll do this. I still don't know what the f this is. Ah, oh, I'm so mad. I know, I know it's, I, I know. I know it's gonna be something special and I'm really upset by it. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. left to go. I think I have the party. I think. All right. We've been to the school. We've been to the train station. We've been to the apartment. Party. Party? Party. I still have the three codes for the... Oh, for the love of Pete! Do I not have... November 20th. My name is William Clark, and I was invited to a party by Matt Hurley. It's my first party in the new class. It smells nice out here. A couple enjoying an evening smoke. Well, at least one of them is enjoying it. So are you happy you got out finally? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for pulling me out, I guess. It's scary to think how it would feel to be home right now. Hey man, you wanted something? Um, no. I better go. Oh, okay. That's Matt Hurley, the host of the party. Hey dude, William, right? Oh, hi, Matt. Um, sorry I'm late. Hey, don't worry, man. The night's just starting. Come in. Want some beer? Um, sorry, I'll pass. Thanks for inviting me, though. No prob. You're a newbie, but you seem cool. Matt and the guys here are so awesome. I wish I wasn't that shy and could actually tell them that. Okay. They're having fun, I think. Who is this? I love this song! I wrote it, you know. You like it, right? Uh, sure. Oh, oh, it's still down. Okay. Uh, what is this? Le booze. I don't feel like getting drunk today. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> I, I guess because I hate that guy's song, I guess. F that dude and his song. Song changed! Finally! Oh my god! Thanks, man! Oh, okay. I'm a hero to these people then. Um. What? 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 I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? And now I can't talk to you anymore, huh? Uh, okay. Interesting. You can hear creaking and some muffled noises coming from this bedroom. You have a strong feeling that its occupants do not crave company right now. I don't know. I don't know. It could get pretty crazy in there. 
Um, hello? A girl lying on the bed. She has been re uh, she has to be really drunk. Hey, are you all right? Uh, mm, smiles weird. Smiles weird. Face remains neutral. Oh, I'm fine. Uh, I just had a bit too much to drink. Do you need anything? Water? No, I. I'll just lie down a little. Should I leave you alone? No. Wait. What's your name? I'm Will. I think we met at school. Remember? Oh. <laughs> You are, you're the new guy, right? Too bad you have to see me this way. I, uh, I don't usually drink, you know. Jeez, figures. I must look really pathetic to you now. <laughs> come on now. Everybody likes that, uh, everybody's like that sometimes. Any reason you drank so much tonight? It's, uh, that freaking guy. You know, the one who's, she tells you a very confusing yet relatable story. In conclusion, the guy she's talking about sucks ass. Guy sucks ass. Angry. You made an angry face. I feel oddly moved by this half discernible story. Maybe it's because you've been in the same situation. Or maybe you're just a bit high from so much social interaction from one evening. Yeah, you get me, Will. I wish she would too. Hey, you wanna, uh. She makes sounds that usually precede vomiting. <laughs> Jake's poor girl to the bathroom. Hey, are they still going? Who? The guys in that one bedroom, man. I guess so. Ugh, teenagers these days, am I right? Well, at least someone got lucky tonight. Sorry, I need to talk to Matt right now. Yeah, see ya. You're a good listener, you know that? So far, my little guy is doing nothing. Hi there. You feel dizzy. Hey, 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 hey. Not disgusted, not disgusted, not disgusted. Smile, hey, 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 hey. This looked awkward. Well, no shit. I don't think we met before, right? You're... Hey, have you seen Martha? Hold on, Ellie. He probably doesn't know who that is. You're the new guy, right? Yeah. I don't know what it's trying to do. Yeah, smile. 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 Yeah, that's me, new guy. Another great face right there, Will. Anyway, I'll go look for Martha. I'm Ellie, by the way. I'm Will. She left. And there she goes. Oh, right. My name's Tanya. Tanya Kennedy. She jokingly stretches her hand forward, and you give her a handshake. Is Martha the blonde girl? She's kind of plump, too. <laughs> That's probably her. What, have you seen her? She didn't feel too well, so I helped her to the bathroom. It's probably Danny's fault. That asshole. Yeah. I think I'll help her out. Want to come with? Sure. They're still going at it. Good on them, I guess. There you go. Better? Yeah. Thanks, you guys. What we talked about earlier. Look, Danny's my friend. And I'm not gonna lie, he can be kind of an asshole sometimes. Don't even think about blaming yourself, alright? It's not because there's something wrong with you. Danny's just been through a pretty tough relationship himself. That doesn't excuse him, does it, though? Hmm. I'm just telling you why he did it, all right? I think I already said that he acted like an asshole. Oh, hey, Will. Guys, that's my new friend, Will. Hey, guys. Smile, sm smile, 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 smile. Ain't shit, that's terrifying. Smile! Sounded natural. Sup, man? Have we, met bef uh, we haven't met before, have we? Yeah, I haven't been to school much since the start of the year. Oh, gotcha. 
Well, nice to meet you, Will. Thanks for taking care of Martha just now. Yeah, thanks, Will. I really needed that. Seem to be ha- uh, seem to be- They seem to have been talking about something else before you came. There's an awkward silence. Well, if everything's fine with Martha, I'll go get some air. Hey, what? We just came here. Come on. I'll see y'all later. Tanya, are you ignoring me? Come on, we barely hang out anymore. It's Graves. Um, okay. Jeez, I don't get what's wrong with her. Mike, what? What are you looking at me like that for? You feel it's time for you to leave. She's looking at a painting on the wall. There's a sun-drenched cafe with huge seeming, uh, seemingly glassless windows. Hey, Tanya, what about- Oh, sorry, am I interrupting something? Michael, please. What? What is up with you today? I don't think I've done anything to deserve that, have I? I see how it is. So you'd rather hang with some weird dude you just met, huh? Instead of at least talking to your boyfriend? I'm just worried about you, all right? Ugh. Don't be mad at him. He actually cares about me, you know? That's the worst part. I'm not mad, I get it, I guess. Tony seems very tired. That's a nice picture there, isn't it? It's Hopper, right? The cafe or something? Do you like it? Yeah, it has a certain feeling to it. Like incredible loneliness, but cozy at the same time. Almost like you've been there before. Yes, yes, that's what I was getting. Listen, um, Will? I think I'll go downstairs and get myself a drink now. Then how about we go for a walk? I really need to cool down right now. Sounds good to me. So that's the cafe we went to that was on her her uh, Twitter page. I'm assuming. Huh. I think I drank a bit more than usual there. Finally, some fresh air. This party was getting a bit intense, wasn't it? Yeah. To be honest, I never expected you to be here. Oh yeah, why not? Because I look like a tight-ass straight-A student? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> well, there's a lot about me that people don't see. Oh, mysterious. Hee <laughs> hee. What about you? You don't seem to be very talkative when you come to school. And you don't come often. I don't believe in education. What the fuck is this? Jeez. Huh? Really? No, I mean, I just have to tackle a lot of shit on my own. Like, you know, I live alone. So I gotta do stuff like working, doing chores, and all that. Sounds tough. Where are your parents? Dad ran away when I was little. Mom died three years ago. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. No use getting all emotional about it now. I had a pretty nice childhood. Just me and her, you know? I think I'm finally getting something good in my life. But, yeah, it gets tough sometimes. Sorry I started talking about all this. It's okay. What about you? You mean, my upbringing? Well, nothing special, I guess. I've had a nice childhood. Two sisters, private school, and so on. <laughs> uh, were you a talented kid even back then? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, my parents used to call me a prodigy. Kind of sucked, though. How's that? It's hard to explain. Everyone around seems to expect great things from you. Like, all the time. And when you fail, it's like the end of the world because... It's if you betrayed their faith in you. I know it sounds dumb, but it feels terrible, honestly. Makes a lot of sense. I don't know. I still kind of feel like a failure. Why? You're literally one of the best students at school. I don't know. It's like even when I'm doing something right, win an award or something, I just get anxious that the next thing will fail. This never seems to end. Whew, sorry for all that. Honestly, I kill for a cig right now. Smoker, huh? <laughs> Surprise? What? You surprised? How else do you think I'd manage to deal with being straight-A student? Well, I was quitting anyway. Mike hates smokers. Kind of manipulative, no? Her expression suddenly turns bitter. Don't think I'm not noticing what you're trying to do. 
Mike's an awesome guy, and I love him, all right? You have no right to stick your nose in other people's lives. You don't know anything, all right? And you know... How about you fix your own shit first? Like your st stupid face expressions and how you act like a complete dunce when there's people around. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. I'm a monster, aren't I, Will? Come on, tell me you think I'm a disgusting human being. I don't think you're disgusting. I just don't understand you. Makes sense. I can't understand myself either sometimes. I... it's hard. Yeah, well... Your friends are there to help you. Well... They don't really know me. Even Martha doesn't. What about Mike? She laughs. Are you joking, Will? Jeez, of course not. Smile... She laughs again. Trust me, you don't. You really don't. I don't deserve all that anyway. You're just wa uh, wasting your time trying to be my friend, Will. I really don't deserve all that. My friends are too sweet. I thought Graves was perfect for someone like me. It's a shame he turned out to be such a wonderful guy. Can I say something? I hope you won't be offended, but really, the world is not revolving around you, Tanya. The way you beat yourself up is not going to help anyone. I... Your friends may not be able to understand what you feel. I know I don't understand. We're all ready to be by your side no matter what's happening behind the mask you seem to wear. Her voice cracked. I... We're back, Will. She's on the bench. Something feels different about her now that you've talked. It's a nice feeling. Damn, I wish I had that sig now. Maybe it's for the better. Yeah, at least I won't feel guilty. You know, because of Mike. Ugh. Don't look at me like that. I know, it's stupid, all right? You both stay silent for a moment. There's slow dance music playing inside. Wanna dance? are you? God damn it. She had her no, I... It couldn't have been her. I've... I've never even... Oh, we're just getting close to desktop now? Is that what we're gonna do? All right, let's delete this. What the absolute shit? What? How is it still playing the music from, the, or is the music coming from this guy? I don't know. I have no answers. No answers. Huh? Is there someone with you? Please pick a card. Well, we got three more. The sun. 
What was that all about? Machine of pain? Me? You love it when it's about you, don't you? What? I... I mean, I don't care. We can talk about something else if you like. What did she mean when she said that my curiosity keeps you alive? We're so close to finding out the truth. Do you realize that, detective? Just answer my question, Lila. Why are you saying... Uh, why are you saying that it's up to me? Come on, detective. You're almost there. I don't... I, I can't yet. Please, can't you just tell me? Please pick a card. What the hell? Lovers? Poor William. He deserved it, you. After all, killing that bitch was his idea. I don't believe you. Why not, detective? Will thought she was me. I guess he hated me that much. He thought I came back for him. I only helped him finish what he started. Will is not a killer. Please pick a card. So that's how they met. It's nice to see William making friends. Hmm, they aren't his friends. You saw the way they looked at him, the way they... Are we getting jealous? What? I don't possess such feelings for anyone. I... <laughs> All right. By the way, what was that figure in the corner? Are you talking about the stranger? Yes. He looked a bit like William, didn't he? It's just... It's not his usual look. We seem to have exhausted the cars to talk about. You can go over them again if you like, but we don't have to. That's the thing! I don't... Mm, I don't know... We have got the computer in the burnt building. Ooh, we've got the passcode on the table for the journal. We've got two lockers that we cannot open yet. I'm so frazzled. I'm so frazzled. There's some... All right. I don't know. I don't know. The demon hasn't really popped for me yet. Uh, That's what I'm thinking. Maybe take the demon around? Yeah. I guess we'll just go around with him. I tried to look up my notes, but all my notes are exhausted at the moment. All right. All right, all right, all right. He's gonna talk to me again and be like, "Yo." Mm -hmm. We'll take the key just cause. We'll take the key. Great. I there's one place I want to take the demon. I feel like it's the most important place to take the demon, which is back to the burnt out like demon house. You know, I feel like that's the place. Would be here, right? Go. Today's November 16th. My name is William, and I come here to investigate a recent fire. Right, okay. Talk to the cop. Excuse me, do you live here? Um, neutral. 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 Neutral, 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 neutral. Boy, that's terrible. That, I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be. Okay, yeah. I live on the third floor. Right, okay. Right, gets called in, old lady. I wonder if it's, if that's old lady is supposed to be the old, like, 
Did we, did she die? Did I kill her? All right. If anything, if I was the demon, I'd talk right now. I'd be like, hello. Let's call this place my second home. He's not lit up though, so that's not good. Come on, demon. Give me something. Shit, dude. Shit, dude. Yeah? Okay, seven. What? Who is it? I must have dreamed it. Father Lawrence? Is that you? Lawrence. Lawrence. This is what they called me in the last vessel, wasn't it? William, is that you, William? Yes, yes, it's me! Father Lawrence, where are you? What happened? I thought you died in that fire. Where are you? I'm at a strange, strange place, my dear William. But we deserve this. I should have never tricked you all. My egoism has led to the death and to your consequent suffering. A turn of the wheel. What do you mean, Father Lawrence? She mustn't continue what I started. I thought the Empress was the one to uh, cease her, but Lila seems to, uh, seems to be way too clever to fall victim to such tricks. There's another way. Ryibkin? That was the name of your colleague, right? Yes. I was too foolish and power hungry, I suppose. But now it's all in vain. We're the only one. I wouldn't want to suffer from it. So here's the code you seek. It's from the desktop computer I use! That's one of them! That's one of them! Yo, yo, yo! This document contains a single URL. God damn it. Oh, cool. Well, this is great. Here we are. Welcome, welcome to this nonsense. Uh, here I am, the words of Professor F. I, Ribkin. Ribkin. I, Professor Ribkin, I am here to rel you the truth. The science is lying to you. Ay, ay, ay. Imagine if humans, rather than being the generators of consciousness, were in a sort of parasitic relationship with it. What if consciousness was an underlying and separable factor of reality existing outside of an unconditioned oh my god hold on I need more drink I need, I need more to drink we know animals don't possess consciousness how did humans come about it and why does Professor Ribkin find the word possess to be an accurate context the existence of the hard problem of consciousness look here hard problem of consciousness sure we'll click that and we'll just go to it In philosophy, the hard problem of consciousness is to explain why and how humans and other organisms have qualia, phenomenal consciousness, and subjective experiences. Right. Okay. So it's just a difficult thing that science has no answers to really great. Among other things suggest that consciousness, in fact, cannot be understood through traditional scientific means. A correlation between electric impulses and conscious phenomena is evident. 
Yet, how can we begin to categorize the raw feelings? Look here. Qualia. We already did that. Qualia obviously cannot exist outside the context of a singular mind. That is different from any physical phenomenon we have re ever researched. Thus, it is not unreasonable to assume consciousness to be the, a quality that exists unrelated to meat machines of the brains. Such perspective is prevalent even among the older ones, so the term emerged the prince. Humans seem to have evolved an analog meat and fluid system, the brain, to conceptually mimic the inner workings of the prince so well that the prince was gradually fooled into thinking he was looking into a mirror. And when he saw his reflection dance a certain way, he would occasionally think that it would be fun to dance the same way, and that's how pain and suffering of the prince emerged. Humans are on their own nothing, simple meat machines mimicking the grand consciousness. The grand consciousness, however, grants them the great depths of knowledge by letting them be its host. Thus, the human race prevails. Right, so this is the Dada dog that was on the thing. Is this real? I mean, it doesn't seem to be real. Okay. Uh, Chet Murray, right. But Murray was the dude in the fucking house, or the condo. Ultra-influencing works of any media. For many years, I have worked with my colleague and friend, a low-tier, Professor W.A. Lawrence. Lawrence, what the shit? Is that for mentioning an example? Okay, great, 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 great. Special forces tried to shut him up. Here's a link to the original scientific paper. The password may not be revealed openly, but the demon knows it. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? I love that itch.io. That's really funny. Okay, so I need to go to the folder that the demon is in. Will this link back to it? Um, where's the, where's the demon folder? Where would that even be? More options should get you there. Um, right, I just don't know where I would have installed it. Who's Lila? So it's here, huh? Can I copy that and then go to the folder? What the biscuits? Yep. Okay. And it would be on the demon, and it would be under answer.txt. Parasites is the answer. Ouch. That's crazy. How is that a fucking... Gang. What? What the shit is this? What am I doing right now? What is happening right now? What are we doing right now? I should have thought of this. I, this is some. This is full on Pony Island. We are full on Pony Island. Generalized guide to the creation of ultra influencing works of any media. This paper aims to provide a reliable guide. Okay, materials and methods. Literature cited. Sure, 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 sure. And modern Satanism. Cool. First, let us define what we mean by ultra-influencing works of any media. U-I-W-A-M. As we know, among centuries, 
a work of art would often surface, popularity and meaning of which would often go beyond its author's expectations and belief. Such items would oftentimes be extremely relatable or otherwise influential for almost each and every one of its consumers. After gathering enough popularity, the item would often act as though it had a mind of its own. Such behavior, all the are we in control now? This is, an op this is just an object of power. This is an oop. After gathering on its popularity, a mind of its own. Such behavior, although seemingly conscious, would almost always ensure the item's relative longevity and effectiveness in social manipulations. For obvious reasons, many individuals, mages, and secret orders have attempted to create and control such items with varying degrees of success. This, this literally is control. This is the game control. I, I, uh, what is the what is the group in control? The group in control that's trying to create oops. What the fuck is the name of that group? Oh my god, they're even in Alan Wake too. What the hell is their name? But it's it's literally this. It's this kind of thing. No no no, it's not the FBC. It's not the Hiss. It's the. It's the group, there's like a group of people, human beings, trying to actively control, yeah, the sacred, the sac, whatever those people are called. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, the one, the one his manager joined, yes. The blessed, the blessed is what they're called. Um, okay. With the growing spread of the World Wide Web, the UIWAM have taken many new forms. They now possess generally lower lifespans, however, vary in effects much more than their predecessors. We may see ideas, zeitgeist inflections, infectious personalities, and so on. They go on, uh, they all go under a generalized term meme. We must not confuse those with the orthodox social engineering tools, such as online propaganda. However, the two often go hand in hand. When not made by accident, the inherently occult UIWAM requires a very specific process of creation and nurturing. I stated in many uh, most outrageous and thus often closest to the truth conspiracy theories, the FBI are known to use them. This partially explains the recently discovered, uncovered Farm Fields Project. Bass cattle farms discovered near Pentagon. Okay. <clears throat> Part two, goals. We, the fraternity of Lawrence and IWA Lawrence, personally aim to utilize an I, a UIWAM for the good of humanity. I myself am willing to transcend the human condition in order. Okay. Theoretical base. Uh, naturally appearing human created UIWAM are no rare phenomena. However, such methodology introduces several limitations of the practice. Unpredictability, right. You can't know when it's going to show up. Lack of control due to the deity adopting or temporarily inhabiting the UIWAM. Its behavior remains at the whims of the new sphere dweller. As contact control of existing deities is out of question, it's almost impossible to tell the way in which its life cycle will unravel. Okay. So again, yeah, they're trying to do what the blessed are trying to do in uh, control. Uh, research and mythology of the Dogon people. Um, okay. Dogon seem to have found a way to communicate with one of the more... Uh, okay, okay. Uh, we will not disclose the real name. We'll refer to it as Snake Eyes. Great. By modifying traditional rituals of the Dogons, uh, we were able to develop a reliable process for creating our own artificial new sphere dweller. As a newly created dweller needs a psychotic base for its existence, we had to gather a group of people who, for the purpose of the experiment, were all told to create a tulpa. With a predetermined appearance. While the brethren believed that the individual tulpas belonged to them only, they didn't have any way of contacting each other, the very starting conditions, the same tulpa appearance character, uh, the same meditation practices, have led to the birth of a psychic creature that persists beyond their individual minds. From now on, the creature will be referred to as El Lila. 
The combined vision of her character would form an ever-changing yet relatively lively new sphere dweller that was completely artificial in her nature. We're not sure... Uh, we were sure not to accidentally invite an existing archetypal, archetypal deity into the process as it would introduce uncontrollable consequences. The existing archetypes are considered by far most powerful and least controllable new sphere dwellers. Right. This is due to their universality. The more people that know about the dweller, the more characteristic psychic energy. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's unpredictable. Too powerful. The artificial dweller was uh, we created was given vampiric behavior qualities due to better controllability. We would have means of stopping this activity almost instantly by cutting the source of the nourishment. In order for L to exist, it needs a fixed amount of so-called psychic energy. In more primitive times, the main way of releasing was human sacrifice. As the human race developed, ancient Egyptians were first to acquire a sort of psychic ac accumulator. Instead of archaic human murder, they would use more quantitative yet less powerful methods of animal sacrifice, which is what they were talking about when we were talking about the the when he, when we met the the dude in the near the docks or the train station, whatever the hell that was. We utilize the same technique in order to feed L. For these reasons, the brethren have uh, a functioning cattle critter farm, and then this could be similar to what they were doing up here when they were talking about. How uh, the FBI, for some reason, has a cattle farm. In the unlikely scenario we lose control over L, all necessary steps of regaining it are described in the locked document on the main computer. The password for that is First Gold. Good to know. The instructions regarding complete elimination of the artificial new, new dweller are present in the same file. As a result of our efforts, we were able to successfully implement a stable I, uh, UIWAM pipeline. Detailed report of each right, 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 right. Presented here are some of the more prominent items. Canceled something leg bones, eight months. Uh -huh. Da da dog, still active at the moment of the paper's release. Not L's child. T, still active at the moment of the paper's release. First successful child of L. T has diverged from an expected meme format and was given longer lifespan. Despite significant vitality, T seems to... Is this... So Tanya was... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Question. Let me bring up the game again. Right. Um, first gold was the password. Uh, I have a genuine question. Genuine question. So that's the animated sticker smile. But that's not who. Man, I was so convinced that we were going to find. Hmm, that we were going to find. Hmm, I had so many clear ideas. I guess, I guess not. Okay. Let's go back to the game. The passcode for this is first gold. Okay. All right. The link is now on your clipboard. Well, I probably should have clicked next, but whatever. All right. First gold. No. Does it have to be capitalized the entire time? First gold. Oh shit. Well, here we are. It's the remainder of the document you've read before. Emergency handling. An unlikely case of L going out of control. It's it's useless trying to regain control. Kill her. Yes, you've read correctly, my dear William. M. Lila needs to be no more. The only way to stop her resistance is by is by getting rid of all her hosts. Anybody who's ever come in contact with her is a potential host. After all, 
If nobody knows about her, she can feed off their energy. Oh, she can't even. But without human hosts, she can't do anything. Right, so if they know, okay. Reading, it's hard. She is a construct of thought, unable to live independently of people's knowledge of her. Remember that, Will. You ever just realize that... You ever just realize that you're getting full Pony Island? I don't want to spoil... I don't want to spoil Pony Island. But Pony Island has a moment where it's very much like this. But then it flips on you. And now I'm thinking, not only, not only is Will... Do I need to get rid of Will? But I also need to get rid of you. I... Ah, oh man. I don't know. I have no answers. But we did that. We got access to that. I really shouldn't go back there. Oh, okay. Shit. Right. And everyone watching this stream, you're all, you're all, like, is it, I feel like we're all screwed. I feel like we're all screwed. You can't get rid of... Howdy. I'm Special Agent Arnold Hill. William Clark, correct? Please come with us, would you? Oh. No? Oh, okay. Um, did that just say still one of us? Did it say that before? Okay, he said that before? Last time we were here? Okay. I don't feel... The Hierophant. So, a Hierophant. Well, he's come a long way to learn the truth behind the fraternity, didn't he? Yeah, right. A lot of hoop jumping just to learn what I could already have told him myself. By the way, you. That fire was your man's job, wasn't it? Yes. It was us. Obviously, Lawrence was aware of the FBI knowing of UIWAM. Moreover, would have been utilizing them proactively for the last 10 15 years. We were a bit late with the fire, though. Now Lawrence is in a place where there is no time at all. So, it was you lot who stole all my food. He called Lawrence when I was asleep. I know. What did they talk about? Did he read what was in the secret file? Come on, detective, you know I'm curious. What was written here? I'm not sure if you're playing with me here, Lala. You... You are a haze composed of many human minds intersecting. A construct of thought of many hosts. Wait, how'd you... As long as there are humans who know about you, as long as you have hosts, you can't be killed. So, are you going to just... There, there, doesn't seem to be a different way... Oh, there, there doesn't seem to be a different way to do it. I... I'm so sorry, I... Whoa. Do I do this? What if I don't? What if I don't do this? I can't... Can I miss? What if I do this? Okay, so nothing occurs. <laughs> nothing occurs. There is no out. Still missing some. I have no idea how. If 
I wake up, what happens? I'm back here. Yeah, I know the demon's going because it wants me to go into here and it's going to say, hey. Right, right, right. And we've done this. We've done this bit on the table. I just can't leave without the trash bag. Stop. Is that the passcode? Stop. What was it? The calamity happened on 13... What was it? Shit. My brain died. That's not it, huh? Was 1311. The calamity happened 13.11. Is that something? It wouldn't be in this room. All right, based on everything we've done so far, it wouldn't be, it would literally be this. This is a thing, I just don't know what. Why is it 13.11? What is 13.1, is it a, is it a coordinate? No, there'd be more than that. It'd be a comma, 13 comma something something. What is the point? What, Jesse? What is the point? What is the point? What is the point, dude? What is the point? 13.11. 13.11. The dude who made this, the languages were... What again? It's not... So, in some countries, a comma is used instead of a point for dollars, right? Is it different for other things too? This was a Russian, right? Language was Russian? Maybe it's 111? 111 is like one of those fancy, uh, like, uh, numerological number things. But what does that mean? God damn it. Okay, hold on. Oh, this sucks. This sucks so much butt. Um, adjust date and time to... Oh, God damn it. What if, oh no, Jesse. If it is Russian, would it not reason that 1311 is actually November 13th?
That did nothing. Damn. Yeah, I have no idea. I totally messed up my entire thing. I didn't do anything. I didn't touch a fucking thing. William? What the? Please don't go closer. Stay in the corner there, please. They're all dead, aren't they? The newsletter said so. Even Father Lawrence. I have to say it now. Lila, I won't kill any more animals for you. A dog was... Lila, why did you tell me to stay home that day? I'm sorry, I... I can't do this anymore. You have to leave. I don't know where. You must just... You must be just a piece of me. You are not more than I am. So why can't you just leave? Please! Please stop with this nonsense, Will. You know I can't leave you. But well, something has to change. Don't worry too much about it. It's important to keep a clear mind. I'll, I will be just like a swap of lenses in a kaleidoscope. Or reels in a movie projector. Don't run from it. Just let me. No, don't touch me! Run, Will. Run, you son of a bitch. Run! Or walk slowly. That's cool. Last time we went upstairs. This time we're taking the elevator? Well, that's fine. She's right there. Okay, so we want to walk up? No, we can elevate her, right? <laughs> Alright, so we're walking? What the fuck? Music is her or the music's behind the door? Go, will go, will go, will go, will go, will go. Okay. Wow. All right. Interesting. So these are all the projectors, junk reels. You found the other reel. It's 
useless now, Will. You... You think you've got the upper hand. You are just delaying the inevitable. It's no... What the shit was that? What the shit was that? Oh, oh God. I'm so sorry, Will. It's never that simple, is it, Detective? You, you tricked me, Lila. Your sorrow is exquisite, Detective. I haven't had such a feast in a while. If I knew just how rich your pain was, I never even bothered to inhabit William. Hee <laughs> hee. You're a horrible, you are horrible, Lila. Well, that's a harsh thing to say. At least I'm not the one who kill uh, to kill an innocent boy, detective. You you need to leave. I I need a moment. Is that the continuation of the last thing? Okay, so now Lila is there. Oh boy. Okay. Please pick a card. Right, and we have the tower. So the trickster gets tricked, eh? You could say so. It wasn't a fair play. Will would have benefited so much from giving up his reel. What are these reels? What's on them? Just garbage you humans collect throughout your life. Memories, habits. Although sometimes you get something good. Are you referring to yourself? Well, obviously. You humans still need something to, uh, to see me as. So you construct a projection of me. The same way you construct projections of other people you know. All your identities are just silly pieces of film illuminated by the prince. Aren't you the same? Oh, I'm so much more, detective. You seem to have exhausted the cards to talk about. What the shit? So am I missing two cards? Or potentially six cards? Where the hell do we go from here? Well, first I need to change this. Okay. And then we need to figure out something. All right, so we have done I'm trying to think of where we could take the demon. There's two lockers. I don't know how to get inside them. There are two keys. Locker one was on the desk near near my stuff. We took the demon. I just don't know. I'm gonna mm, I'm gonna cheat a little. Hold on. Um, image flash from tower ending. Who's Lila? Do you think that exists online? Do you think that exists? It does not look like it. It does not look like it. I don't want you to tell me. I just want to know if that was something. It was a flash and I feel like... I feel like it's something, but I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. We, I mean, like, literally, we just had to change the time for shit. Wait, hold on. Are you serious? You almost freaked me out. You almost freaked me out. Someone in chat said, did you throw the reel in chat, or in, in the trash? So I went to my recycling bin and there was there was stuff in there, but I forgot that I had thrown away the, the thing earlier. And I was like, <gasps> oh my God. I don't, 
I don't know what to do right now. I don't know what to do right now. We've been everywhere, I think. I mean, I guess it's like you gotta go back and... I just don't know. I don't know which path to take, basically. I'm sure there's other interactions with the demon, but I just don't know what paths to take that won't just be a waste of my time. The key on the table goes to the... To the uh, to Tanya's locker. Tanya's locker led me to the web page, which led me to like we already did that. Like that bit is done. I don't think I have to do that. I think the school is good at the moment. The thing that I don't understand is what we do with the rest of it. We typed in the secret address to the Beaver place. We've been to the party. That was a thing. We've been to the apartment. That was the thing. We did both of these. They're done. As far as I can tell. The train station. We could go back there, but I feel like we did what was needed there. I think. Martha's house. We've been to. Tanya. No, we had this. We did this. Ah, oh, god damn it. Right, right. So this is a continuation. They kiss and then they end up here. Right. And this leads us to here. Which leads us to this weird scene, which leads us to a bunch of people. Right. Is this Will and I? Is this us watching? Trash yard load. Right, so we did this. I'm ready to go. Hey, I know you looked at the Steam page, but did you try the game's itch.io? I did not. I did not try the itch.io page. Yo, if... Glitch Wizard, if you just cracked my brain open... If you just cracked my brain open... I'm gonna go crazy. Oh my god. Thick Shady suggested that an hour ago? Well, I just thought of it now. 3816. Holy shit. If that's it, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so ludicrously, outrageously upset. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is that it? Get up to my room. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, you have to look at the banner in the Steam library if you want it from Steam. What? I was so close. I was so close. I was I was on the right path. I was just in the wrong place. 
Oh my whole god, I feel like the biggest idiot who ever lived in the history of idiocy. Oh my whole god. Oh, Jackie! July 13th. I've been helping out with the little farm near Father Lawrence's church. I'm not sure what he needs all these animals for, though. No one from the Brethren seemed to be eating them, yet some animals disappear after time. Is he breeding and selling them or something? It's confusing. July 14th. They say I'm pretty good with Lila's enforcement. Father Lawrence told me not to write her name down. But I'd rather trust her than him. I think the others may be jealous since she started talking to me so quickly. Right, okay. A part of the page is torn. September 12th. I don't think they know what they're talking about. Tulpas are a very personal thing. I can't... It can't be that their Lyle is the same as mine. It's just part of me. It can't be connected to them. We are not connected. September 15th. She scared me today, by the way. Lila did. She started talking about the prince and stuff. Not the musician. She has her own idea of how things like personalities and egos work. I don't believe her. But for the moment, I felt really lost and unsure of what... Uh, of what my me really consists of. Lila... When you'll be reading this, don't scare me like that again, or like this again. I'm all I'm already becoming kind of unsure about this whole thing. Still love you though. There's a bunch of pages torn. November 20th. It can't be they just look similar. It's her. I forgot for a time, but I recall her face. It's her. It cannot be her. December 3rd. Today is the day. Today is the day. Right, can I be heard? Summer 3rd, today's the day, today's the day. Interesting. Okay, so that gave me that. But did that give me anything else of value? Oh, come on. I guess I don't know where to... I don't know what we're looking for now. I've pieced together enough of the story, I think, but I don't know where we're going with this. I just don't know. I just don't know. 